I'm Janice Banther. And today we're going to be answering the question is how do you start a doula business? I've received a lot of emails on this and I've tried to answer as many that I could. But a lot of times I can talk a lot faster than I can type. And people will see my texts and my typing, they would probably agree with you on that. There's something that you can do, you can buy, that I wish this had been out there 20 some years ago because it would have saved me a lot of heartache, a lot of mistakes. And that's this book called Doula Programs. It's by Polly Perez. This is her second uh, edition and it is absolutely outstanding. It answers all your questions from A to Z. It even has financial papers that you need to learn and, and uh, find out. Um, sample for the financial performance section for the business plan, projected financial performances, uh, also a sample balance sheet, how to make a balance sheet out, uh, just different things like that. It has forms, intake forms in here um, for your clients on what information that you're trying to get from them. It also has uh, the major information from the two major dual organizations we have here in the United States, Dona International and Kappa. And that way it will help you if you're affiliated with those groups that, uh, in helping start your business. Now, say you're not with either one of those two groups I just mentioned, you might be with another organization. You're still going to get a lot out of this and it's going to help you out so much. You can purchase this by going to Polly's website. And Polly's website is cuttingedgepress.net and it's going to be across the bottom, cuttingedgepress.net. Uh, I can tell you what's helped me a lot, and that is the social media. First thing was my web page, and I did not do it, design it myself. I had someone else design it, but it wasn't just designing it. It's getting the right tag words. Now, I'm kind of going out of my place of understanding on this. I have someone else do, the, uh, do this for me. And when I, when I very first started off in birth, in childbirth, um, one of my very first clients, he owned a printing company. And so, uh, as a gift to me, and he still does it. And uh, their oldest child is now 21, 22 years old, 23 years old. And they are still helping me with my printing after all these years and doing two births with them. And helping me get just the right rate. And the first ones that I did, just really just writing it off as a, as a write-off for me. And just was such a, a huge help. So you'll be able to do some trades with some of your clients, maybe even in the very beginning, and have a web page designer. But you want to make sure that web page designer uses tag words. Having a web page out there does not mean people are going to be drawn. Making sure you are number one on Google and the other Yahoo when they're searching doulas in your area, that's what counts. That's how people find you. And the other is Facebook. Having a Facebook page and making sure you're meeting and uh, in, in working and meeting the, the age group you're trying to reach. When you have a, a, face group, a, Facebook, a Facebook page for your organization, it's a page that you like, not that you friend. And you, as the person who has made this, can see, can click on places on the side, and it tells you the age group that's been looking at your page and things like that. And so, like on my two pages that I have, I know the exact ages I'm working with, so I'm trying to always talk to people in that age group when I'm designing something or when I am um, deciding the font of something, to, I'm writing a new uh, handout, a new pamphlet. Um, we just changed the font in the one of our, our websites just because of a focus group I did with people who were the ages of the people who go to my websites because of what they chose. So you want to make sure you're really reaching your people with how your page, how your website looks and that it works. You always want to check it. Every once in a while, wait, web pages stop working. Check all your links and make sure they work. Um, but the tag words are important. And when you talk to a web person, they'll know what you're talking about. Make sure your tag words are out there. And again, in Facebook, having those Facebook pages out there where you are able to reach people in the social media. If you're good at Twitter, that's a good thing to do. Uh, I am not great at Twitter. Uh, there's a few people who are in the birth world that are good on Twitter. Desiree Andrews, who lives in Colorado, she's always on Twitter. She's always must be doing this constantly. She's fantastic at that. Um, but there's a couple of people that you can follow on Twitter that I know that would be help you with Twitter and give you information that's good for the social media. One is DLB1752, and that's going to be below here. The other one is David DeFranco, the creative one. And that's going to be down here. Now we're talking about Twitter. 
And the other is, and I think I'm saying this right, and the person who edits my videos, he will understand what I'm talking about. And I've said this wrong, he'll put the right name across the bottom. Chris Perillo, I believe that's how you say his last name. And uh, I don't believe you put spaces in between people's names or, or, or numbers in Twitter, as far as I understand you don't. And uh, so these are people that you go on Twitter and you can do a search and search for these people and follow them. And you will learn a lot because of the information that they put on their site and then on their blogs and their information is, is go visit my blog, just put a new sign up, a new page up on my blog and it's on Twitter. I've learned a lot on that. I'd like to learn more, but sometimes it takes me a while. If you can just get one thing down and get one thing down right, then that's good. I hope this information has helped you. It's hard going out there and taking that first step out there and starting a business and starting an organization and then making sure that if you're one of the breadwinners of the family, making money at it. This book will help just with the fact that it makes you, makes you make a balance sheet. But she will help you in so much more than that. And then looking in the social media because that's where your clients are. They're on the social media. They're out there on Twitter, on Facebook, on the different sites, and you can reach your clients there. I hope this has helped. Again, if you have comments you want to give to me or email me, all the information is right here down below. I thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you go out there and have one of the best businesses, dual businesses, in your area. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.